Hello everyone, this is Kazumi Yona. We're playing Assassin's Creed Origins, where we're playing cat and mouse, the transsexual prostitutes. My instincts were right. Vesta's a prostitute, but she's looking for her father. I only hope I find him before she does. Ah, I'm too late. Another note. This must be the horror. Father, you die. You will be quiet now, mother. By the gods, this Vesta is insane. He laughed, called me androgynous, son of the goddess of love, with her messenger. He would not embrace me, so Thanatos held him, until he struggled no more. And still she screams and whispers. I hear her every walking in hour, every sleeping moment. I cannot live with this shame. I will not. Vesta. On my father, the horror Cassius, who would not believe me when I told him who I was, his forced child. His child. It's all finished, and I will join you and father soon. I cannot stop, and I will not live without her. Why did you kill them all? I have tasted darkness too, but you are mad. You cannot understand what it is to be born into flames. To be born a piece of dust. I am Ash. Okay, I want to try to... Gah! Dropkick didn't work, okay. Punch her. Vesta was not a prostitute, but the forgotten son of one. I hope the Duat figures you out. I should return <laughs> to Smintos. From the child of Meritrix, Sean forgotten this year almost found the lupus milk for the man who used my mother, the moneylender, the ham, the horror. They abandoned me. Only you loved me. But when the gods took you from me, they left me with nothing. Oh, Vesta, my mother, I feel your soul within me. Oh. Your voice in my head, crying for justice. I have taken it for you. Now, must that same judgment be passed upon me, the poor boy? Perhaps then at, the, at last your voice will be quietened. <sighs> so, her son, Oedipus, is obviously referencing uh, the Oedipus complex. Let's just grab him out, out of the... Warhouse. Okay, we have other quests now. There's a hidden papyrus in tomb of oh. Vastos. And so... Whoop. Off we go! I need to make some more coffee. Because there's too much blood in my coffee stream. How did people live before they invented coffee? <laughs> so many foods were not existent until uh, America got colonized. And, uh, like, potatoes. There were no potatoes, maize. There were no corn. No corn products at all, not even. 
Like, I know Mamali guys, like, uh, corn, uh, uh, that's, like, boiled into a, from a thick powder and it's eaten like... With everything, it's like Romanian, this Arabian kitchen from like, Moldova and stuff, and... Um... Um... But, like, it wasn't Romanian kitchen until we uh, uh, America was colonized. Same with, like, French fries. There are no fries in France before America. The Romans have no respect. Did you find anything? Let's see. The tomb of Bath is closed by order of the people of Rome. Even comes to think who dealt with Severn. Centurion Faustus Augustus. And. I'm sure that cacao wasn't cocoa. Uh, in Europe and Asia. She was in China, but coffee? I don't remember coffee, if that's originally a new world drink or not. The Greeks also treat their dead with great honor. And now, they suffer like Egyptians. So, bearded guy with a spear? Pointy boobies. Greek murals. Very colored, bright. And more. <laughs> South of Kirin in the Green Mountain, there is a lake whose water comes from a magical stream. I'll be at the source of that magical water flows from now. The underground curse. And they do repeat the same stages over and over to save the budget, I get it. I heard it's even worse case about that in Odyssey, but I haven't gotten to playing it. Investigating tombs, the best part. Assassin's Creed 2 had like DLC tombs. They were like separate stages that you complete. For most part, they were just amazing. The best part of the game easily. Some had combat, some not. But there were like whole worlds in each level. Absolutely beautiful. The Romans no respect for the dead. Apparently. The tomb's been ransacked. The Romans were looking for something. Uh, I've heard a recent... Uh, I've seen a recent like, poster <coughs> that showed like Greece and Rome uh, laughing at... and the rest of Europe is like... like uncultured uh, and stuff and... Uh, I made fun of the guy, the guy who posted it was ethnically Italian, Italian-American And I was laughing because, like, uh, it reminded me of all formerly Imperial nations uh, which are now disgraced like, Italy and Greece are like the poorest countries in Western Europe, both where people voted for populism Like, left populism, Cyprus and Greece promised them to quit European Union and remove their uh, the war in in depth like the Greek economy and stuff, and he failed. He put his words back immediately, and got even more credit from Europe. Bow to the Badas. He lies King Badas with his bow. He vanquished our enemies and all enemies of the Sun God. And so did Apollo reward him with an arc so thought that the eagles. I 
from the skies. Arxel thought that it could eagles from the skies. English. The founder you must have been buried with these treasures. Into it. So, and then Italy voted for our literal fascists. And the second voted party was by an actual comedian. Like among the Western Europe, those two countries desperately trying to cling to their former glory instead of fixing up their sh current shit. And this brings me to mm, the imperialism. They, I heard, saying the that are gone. this bitch brought peace in order to our city. He who has the relics he has the fate for great city in his hands. But the Mo Moscow the medallion are gone. Third Rome. The Romans are little more than tomb robbers. The Greeks Locals are learning what stalking. it feels like to be Egyptian. Have your land, your dead, and your relics desecrated by an invading force. Empty. Drunk and stupid is a troublesome combination. He's really giving it to them. And, like, this is not about ethnical Italians, of course. This is specifically about Italians who think they're Romans and cling to imperialism, of course. On Batas the First, the Oracle of Delphi gave the people of Terra a prophecy that by Apollo's beating must they make a new home in Libya. But the people did not follow her, and not a drop of rain fell for seven years. The father of the Batia dynasty, Aristotle's Batios I, visited the Oracle again. Let the therans to the land where there is a hole within the sky. It is Zeus' garden. A place of great prosperity and bounty, the chocolate mouth. So let Bodas take his monstrous adventures to a new life in very serene. Eat bounty, sneakers, and Nutella. I like Twix more. Uh, yeah, on a serious note, like. Romans, specifically their culture, as proud they were about, uh, like, they brag, they still, the people who think they're Romans still brag like they brought culture to Europe, to Asia. Well, in reality, it was Greek culture that they borrowed, to the point that uh. all Romans spoke <gasps> Greek at some point. And look, where is Latin? Their language. We're back to the Acropolis. I see they put some new guards. After we killed every single one of them. So. All roads lead to Rome and all quests lead to Acropolis. Like, guys, Acropolis is a Greek thing that colonized is Greek. Your stages are Greek. The language you speak is Greek. Everything <coughs> Roman was heavily Hellenized, and in the end, the Roman Empire fell, and the so-called Romans were Greeks in Byzantine. And look where Greece and it Italy are now. We have a at the end. <laughs> Re 
Britain managed to uh, leave behind their Imperial shit only to think they're better than others and attempt the idiocy that is, is Brexit. Germans stood behind their imperial ambitions, but they were forced to leave them behind. After the Versailles Pact and after losing Second World War, they still managed to elect former Nazi party members of the parliament. So, even for Germans it was hard. Uh, interestingly, Egypt never really was imperialistic. At, at the time when Saladin the Kurd who ruled Egypt and is considered one of the most important leaders in the Crusades uh, took a lead uh, he simply s served as a leader of the Muslim board there was no nationalism of course because well, being Kurd at all I still hear Turks another very imperialistic nation say that Saladin was a Turk! It's all Turkey business! Kurds do not exist! I heard that personally. Again, not all Turks are like this, but they like the Erdogan. So the majority is. Alright. Still be close to the real killer at the bathhouse. I hope the Duat figures you out. I should return to Smintos. All right, we are attacking. Latin quit sentiamo in corpore! Yeah, over here. Imperialistic trash. Occupants come. Go back to your mafia gardens. Okay. Roman culture, right? Especially with that Greek colonel. Duck faced swine. She stay. No more You know what we say? I have a word Svina Sabaka, which means a, a swine hunt. Uh, 
a dog and a swine at the same time. That's the nationality of occupants. They're the spawn of a dog that fucked a pig. Else they'd be making heaven in their own country. Instead of ruining the others. Hot me! Et no! Et mortal! For Egypt! Italian trash! The dog of Apennines! Turn to Smintos. There may still be clues to the real killer at the bathhouse. All right, let's clear Egypt of some of the bombs. Where is this? Oh. The back entrance into the Acropolis. So much for a um, quote unquote Roman culture. It's like 90% Greek. Mm, gods here are vigilant. Um, it's not a way, but a dead end. What's up with that waterfall? If it doesn't go anywhere. 